Tonight, we are delighted to welcome to the stage Ireland's most fabulous drag queen and famous activist, Panty. Have any of you ever been standing at a pedestrian crossing when a car goes by and in it are a bunch of lads and they lean out the window as they go by and shout fag and throw a milk carton at you? Now, it doesn't really hurt. I mean, after all, it's just a wet carton and in many ways they're right. I am a fag. <laughs> So it doesn't hurt, but it feels oppressive. And when it really does hurt is afterwards, because it's afterwards that then I wonder and worry and obsess over what was it about me? I mean, what did they see in me? What was it that gave me away? And I hate myself for wondering that. It feels oppressive. And the next time that I'm standing at a pedestrian crossing, I hate myself for it, but I check myself to see what is it about me that gives the gay away. And I check myself to make sure that I'm not doing it this time. After what I thought was a pretty innocuous appearance on a television show, all sorts of shit has hit the fan. I am being threatened with legal action by five different people, and so is RTE. RTE's managing director of television has said the broadcaster paid a total of 85,000 euro in a financial settlement following a recent edition of The Saturday Night Show. Following threats of legal action, RTE apologised and a financial settlement was made, now known to have been €85,000 to journalist John Waters and to members of the conservative Christian group, the Iona Institute. The apology and settlement became the subject of heated public debate. 2,000 people took part in a protest in Dublin city centre at the weekend. I thought, you know, I was living in a society where this stuff isn't acceptable anymore. But yet, when people challenge people on these issues, and that's what Rory O'Neill did on the Saturday Night Show, he called it what it is. RT got it wrong, and everybody in the public knows they got it wrong, and RT need to come out and let us know that they got it wrong. Otherwise, there will not be confidence in our national broadcaster to mediate any debate with confidence, particularly around issues that affect my life and the people who love me and love all the other people who aren't treated properly in this society. Thank you. We must not allow ourselves to be bullied and silenced because this is all it is. This is bullying. These are the people who are always complaining about being silenced. When have they ever been silenced? I don't care if Candy wears a tutu, if he wears uh, a ballet skirt. He's a fantastically glamorous human being who also intellectually brilliant and morally courageous. It turns out that all the rest of the mainstream media are absolutely terrified to report on it because they're also terrified of these stupid solicitor's letters. I mean, it turns out that you can cower the whole media industry in this country by a simple solicitor's letter. And for the last three weeks, I have been lectured to by heterosexual <coughs> people about what homophobia is and about who is allowed to identify it. Straight people have lined up ministers, uh, senators, barristers, journalists, have lined up to tell me what homophobia is and to tell me what I am allowed to feel oppressed by. People who have never experienced homophobia in their lives, people who have never checked themselves at a pedestrian crossing, have told me that unless I am being thrown into prison or herded onto a cattle truck, then it is not homophobia. And that feels oppressive. I do, it is true, believe that almost all of you are probably homophobes. But I'm a homophobe. I mean, it would be incredible if we weren't. I mean, to grow up in a society that is overwhelmingly and stiflingly homophobic 
and to somehow escape unscathed would be miraculous. So I don't hate you because you're homophobes. I actually admire you. I admire you because most of you are only a bit homophobic. And to be honest, considering the circumstances, that is pretty good going. But I do sometimes hate myself. I hate myself because I fucking check myself when standing at pedestrian crossings. And sometimes I hate you for doing that to me. But not right now. Right now, I like you all very much for giving me a few moments of your time. And for that, I thank you. just happened? I mean, what the fuck just happened? How did this happen? It's nuts. <laughs>